Well, Cincinnati wasn't the only place fans were celebrating the big win tonight. Many spent the day cheering on the Bengals at Wicks Pizza Parlor in the Highlands, which has become a popular destination for Bengals fans here in Louisville. WLKY's Manash Kungwari was there as fans watched on the edge of their seats. Well, it looks empty right now, but I assure you this room was packed with hundreds of people watching history unfold on those TVs as the Bengals reached the Super Bowl for the first time in three decades. On the corner of Baxter and Highlands Avenues lies a Louisville pizza parlor, which looks normal from the outside. But what you wouldn't know is that it's a bar listed on the Cincinnati Bengals website. And on Sunday, it transformed into home base, welcoming Bengals fans near and far. I've never experienced anything like this in my life. So to have the Bengals play in a conference championship game is awesome. They've never done this well. So in my lifetime, I've never seen them make it this far in the playoffs. And lucky for her, with that three-point win over the Kansas City Chiefs, she gets to see them go one step further, the Super Bowl. A song still echoing in the bar. Many say it was a day to remember but not just because the team got a win. We kicked it tonight, it was just unbelievable in here. Owner Michael Wycliffe says the place opened 25 years ago as a Bengals bar. Since then, fans have sat in the booths watching every season and the same way, without a championship. But this year, he sees something in his customers he hasn't seen up until now, hope. They've been waiting and waiting and waiting, and this is unbelievable. This is the best year ever. This is, yeah, this is the best year ever. The best year ever that has a chance to get better if the Bengals can secure a win in Los Angeles two weeks from now. But fans say, for right now, they're just enjoying being a part of history. It's been great. We're, we're just along for the ride just to see where this goes. In Louisville, Minaj Kungwari, WLKY News.